very, very special day today for a number of reasons. One, the new captain, Scary, so what, good luck, mate. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, three guys making the de de debut today, so I'll hand it over to the Hat Masters in a second. But the guys who are making the debut, and to Scary, I know your family's all very well, and I know how proud they'd be of, of you all today. So, um, you know, we start with little kids. The families are all very proud of them, uh, proud of you. Nice. Love every minute. I put on a good show for them. Okay. Got the tissues ready, Frank? <laughs> <laughs> uh, already gone. Um, where it fills me with uh, so much pride to present you this today. Your journey here has been unbelievable. Uh, you and I have had the privilege as a brother to witness a fair chunk of that now. From starting in our backyard in South Avenue, playing backyard cricket with Will and I, to playing for McKinnon, Junior Cricket Club, to playing with Will, playing with him there with your gut hanging out over your thigh pad sometimes. Photos <laughs> 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 of that. So then, um, making a huge sacrifice, leaving home not once but twice, um, to South Australia to pursue a dream, whereas that's being realised today. Sorry, mate. You have certainly faced your fair share of challenges. Um, life has thrown a bit of stuff your way and you've handled them incredibly well. Challenges that are going to be far more difficult than anything you face out here today. I promise you that. Um, what these challenges have given you is a beautiful sense of self-awareness and a resilience that I think is unparalleled. And if I think back to you as a, as a young boy, and in the backyard, I see a boy um, wearing tops like that, wearing hats like this, running in as hard as he could, playing with his brothers, playing with Will and I, with no fear of consequence, trying to emulate the feats of his heroes, and Brett Lee, and uh, whilst you're in an Australian top shower back there as well. Um, and mate, it's, I saw a boy with a, a spirit that was just unbreakable. Um, a boy who played cricket simply because he loved the game. Because you're proud to play it, because you really, really, really enjoy it. It's that spirit, Wes, that was going to help you the most out here. That, that boy inside you, that is what's going to get you through. There's going to be times, there might be, there might not be, but if a time comes out there today, or any other time you play, that you start to doubt yourself, that you get a bit worried, that you start saying, well, what, what might go wrong? I really challenge you to think back to that boy um, and think, what if it, what if it goes really, you know, what if it goes great? Uh, be open to that, walk towards it. And you might really surprise yourself. Um, you are Wesley Agar. always will be, no matter what happens today, in any time, you play cricket. The only difference is today, and I'm really proud to say, that you are 231st player to represent the country, Australia, in one day international cricket. Mum, Dad, Will and I are so proud of you, and we love you so much. So, go ahead. <laughs> no worries at all. Uh, absolute privilege for me today to present Ben McDermott um, with your one day international cap. Um, I've only seen the last probably four or five years, Reg, of your journey to get here, but um, going back to when you're a younger lad to, to sacrifice and move away, much like your debutante today has done to move from Queensland down to Tasmania, Renegades first and then on to Tasmania to get an opportunity to pursue your dream. Um, is something that I really admire. I obviously had to go through the same thing to, to try and get to the next level. Um, I think your journey has been that of sacrifice. Um, as I said, to move down to Tasmania as a young player is 
is one thing, but to get on this tour, come back from England, do your isolation, go away from Mandy and your young daughter who's going to be born in the next few weeks to come and try and pursue an opportunity to play one day international cricket for your country is something that I certainly admire and I know all your teammates admire. For you to do that is certainly inspirational um, and I'm really, really proud to, to, to give you your cap and watch you represent your country today. So Reg, um, you don't have to go out and do anything more than what you've done. You've shown for Tasmania over a long period of time that you can dominate one day cricket. All we ask is that you go out there and do that today. Um, I remember when I debuted, I didn't remember much that Ricky Ponting told me before the game, but what I, what, what I can tell you we'll remember is that when we sit down after this game today and we have a beer with you and Wes and, Fli and Flipper for your first win of one day international cricket for Australia, that is something that you will remember. And the rest of us will do everything we can for you to get that opportunity tonight. So good luck. It's an absolute privilege for you to receive your cap from me today, mate. Um, <laughs> I've been uh, lucky enough to see your, your, recent, your recent journey throughout your career, and um, I'd love to say I had a big part of it, but you're already a bloody good cricketer by the time you came to the Sixers. You were ready to go out there and win us games right from the first game, um, and you've continued to do that ever since you've been at the club, and I think you're going to do exactly the same here. You're ready to come here, play for Australia and win games of cricket for Australia and I think you're ready to do that for a very long time as well and hopefully we can all support you do that. Congratulations.